This video is how to degree a Subaru camshaft. Uh, I'll be explaining how to do one uh, intake cam gear and a camshaft. Uh, we'll be installing some adjustable cam gears on this car. It currently has adjustable cam gears but uh, the right intake broke. So we're uh, changing those gears out and we're installing Brian Crower's uh, adjustable cam gears, BC cam gears. And uh, we'll show you how we put the degree wheel on uh, get that set up and then we'll degree uh, one camshaft so you can kind of see how it's done on these Subarus. It's a lot different than uh, most cars. So uh, I'll move this camera around and get you some more shots and uh, we'll just go from there. Thanks. Here's our uh, degree wheel with our marker right there to the left, that silver pointed arrow. It's pointed at 38 and a half degrees right now. We have a piston stop in the motor and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bring this around and uh, show we already we already moved the degree wheel around to get the same amount on both sides so that way we know where our top dead center is so we'll come around bring it around this way and as we're coming up you want to go pretty slow just because you don't want to ram that piston into the piston stop you just want to gently bring it up and just kiss it kiss it and as we're coming up here there's 45 there's 38 and a half degrees. So we know in between these two marks we are at top dead center. Alright, here's our, uh, we call this a DRO. Um, you could use a, if you don't have a DRO, you could use a digital uh, dial indicator or a digital dial indicator to uh, go ahead and do this. You can kind of see there, let me pan in a little bit. I shoot right past the camshaft to pick up the bucket. So that way I'm getting my reads off the bucket. What I do is, is I get it over the nose, the cam's over the nose right now, which just means the bucket's all the way open, the valve's all the way open, and uh, I zero it out there. And let me um, come in and pan over here for you. And uh, what I do is I get it over the nose, and then we can zero this, and then now what we'll do is we'll go down 20 thousands, 30, 40, 50 thousands down um, each, each side of the cam. You can do it 20 thousandths, 30 thousandths, just depending on what works for you. And you can see on top of this box here on the digital readout, this is our piston stop that we screwed in the number one piston to set up our degree wheel. So I'll go back on over here, and what we'll do is uh, when you install this, make sure that this moves very freely. Rotate the engine over and make sure it's free the whole time it's not binding. Get it at the same angle as the bucket and um, get it centered on the bucket as best you can. You're only working on a corner there so you gotta do as best you can do on that. Thanks. Okay what we're doing here now is, is uh, we're gonna bring the camshaft up to 50 thousandths before it comes over the nose. And so right now we're at 80 thousandths and we're gonna start bringing it up some more until we get to 50 thousandths and you can see it coming up to it right now real slow there and we are just about there so now what we'll do is we'll go back to our degree wheel and read our number and here we have 73 degrees I'll bring it real slow for you there. You can see it right inside there, 73 degrees. So now we're going to go back here. And we're going to go up and over the nose. So it's going to go to zero. And right around there is over the nose. And now we're going to start coming back down the other side until we get to 50 thousandths. As soon as we get to 50 thousandths, we're going to stop. Fifty thousandths. So now what we're going to do is we're going to read this, and this shows at thirty-eight degrees. But uh, we got to go this on this degree wheel, so we'll go to another degree wheel and see what that is on our intake center, and that comes out to one hundred and forty-two degrees. We then take the seventy-three degrees plus one hundred and forty-two degrees, 
and that equals 215 degrees. We divide that by 2 and that equals 107.5. So this intake center line is a 107.5. And from there we'd adjust the cam, we could degree it, we could uh, advance it or retard it by the cam gears and by moving the camshaft forward or backwards that'll allow us to advance or retard the camshaft. Okay now we've set our DRO up on our exhaust. You can kind of see it here a little bit better shooting past that camshaft. We got it in line with the bucket and we're going to do the same process as we did on the intake. Pan back over here to our DRO. Kind of watch the numbers. So we're going to start coming up on. We've already zeroed it out over the nose. So the number is going to get smaller as it's getting closer to over the nose. So as soon as we get to 50 thousandths, which is uh, 0 0.050, we will look at our degree wheel and see what we have for our numbers. As we're coming up, we're at 50 thousandths. Now I'll read the degree wheel. And we're at 30 and a half degrees. And we'll convert that over and that'll be actually be 149 and a half degrees before. And now we're going to continue on past that. So I'm going to start moving it again. And you can see the number getting smaller because we're going over the nose here in just a second. We just went over the nose and now we're coming back down the other side until we get to 50 thousandths. Out, oh, went past it. So we're going to just come back a little bit faster, past it farther so we can take the slack out of the belt and start coming back again now until we get to 50 thousandths. I prefer this method with the DRO. A little precise, we can zero it out real easy. But a dial indicator works fine. I've used dial indicators for many years. Now at the internet you can find a lot of different tools for a better price than they used to be. So we're coming up to 50 thousandths. We're at 50 thousandths. We're going to stop here and check our read. And it looks like we're at 72 degrees. So we take 149.5 plus 72, that equals 221.5 degrees. Divide that by 2, that equals 110.75. So this exhaust cam is about 111 degrees. Thanks. Okay, uh, we're back here for doing another cam phasing. And um, we're degreeing these cams. This is after we put the Brian Crowder cam gears on. Uh, these heads have been uh, decked about five thousands, you know, thinner head gaskets, blocks been decked. So it all changes, so you always have to check your cam timing to make sure it's correct. And then uh, you do each, all four of them, and get them to what spec stocks are, and then you can advance or retard from there. So what we're gonna do now is uh, go ahead and go back to what we did before, and get some numbers to see where these cams are set at. And we're coming up to open this valve, or full we'll lift, and as soon as we get to 50 thousandths, we'll check that degree wheel, and it's coming up. There we go, there's 50 thousandths. We'll check this degree wheel. This degree wheel is at 89.5 degrees. Doing some math here. Now we will go past it, get to full lift, it goes to zero. We're at full lift. And we're going to go past on the other side now. We get to 50 thousandths.
and we're at 50 thousandths. And we'll check this one here now. 23 and a half degrees, which equals 156.5 degrees. So we'll do 89.5 plus 156 and a half, which equals 246. Divide that by two, and that equals 123 degrees. This intake cam is retarded, so we need to advance it to get it to fat, stock factory specs, and then from there we can advance retard. That way we'll know all our cams are in sync. Alrighty, we're back here now again. We um, advanced this uh, cam gear a couple of times, trying it uh, to get it where it needs to be for stock specs. So uh, right now we'll go ahead and run it up to 50 thousandths. And we're at 50, and we have 76 degrees. So now we're going past that, go up over the nose. And we're coming back down. Do we get to 50 thousands again? And here we are. And we are at 36 degrees, which equals 144. So we add those two together, we get 220 divided by 2 equals a 110 lobe center. My wrench is moving, that's why this gauge is going all over the place. Here we are after the Brian Crower cam gears are installed on the motor. We had to check in, intake and exhaust center lines on both cam gears. We ended up changing them, getting them to establish where they needed to be for factory specs, and then from there we'll advance or retard the cam gears. It's important to adjust these cam gears with, by degreeing them so that way you know that you are uh, within factory specs. Uh, even though they're adjustable cam gears, uh, as soon as you start changing your head deck and your uh, gasket height, your install height, all that changes, then uh, it changes your cam timing and that's the reason why you need to degree these. These cam gears are on our CNC ported heads. Uh, there's an eBay auction for these heads. Uh, this motor here makes at 18 pounds of boost, uh, makes 415 horsepower and 415 foot-pounds of torque to the tire. That was on a Mustang dyno. At 23 pounds of boost, this makes 460 horsepower and right at 450 foot-pounds of torque. That again is on an eBay auction for these cylinder heads, CNC ported cylinder heads. We also have a crank scraper in this motor that actually has helped keep the oil down in the pan. That's you can find on an eBay auction also. And uh, we do some other work to the crankshaft to make the rod bearings last longer besides this crank scraper. Hope this helps you out. Any questions, go ahead and ask. Thanks. Bye.